David, first of all, uh, welcome and thank you so much for finding the time and for being with us. So tell us a little bit about your beginnings. My story started when I healed myself from a chronic illness I had for 10 years. So I had ulcerative colitis, which is a digestive disorder, which is incurable. And I went to all these doctors and specialists and all they told me was to take medication and then this is what you're going to have for the rest of your life. You're going to have to live with this. And that wasn't very pretty because every day I had internal bleeding, I had brain fog, I had fatigue, I, I was depressed, and every day was just a survival mode. So I said, it can't be just like that. It's got to be a better way. There's got to be some way of healing this, at least not having to live like that for every day of my life. So that was me for 10 years until I started to research into frequencies and devices. And initially it was just to improve my meditation because I was searching for spiritual growth. But in that process of searching for spiritual growth, I actually healed myself because I discovered these frequencies that were for my gut. And in 90 days, I healed myself completely. No more symptoms. I was completely transformed from inside and outside. Not only did I heal myself physically, I healed myself mentally, emotionally, and even spiritually. So I went, just me, without any medical background, I was able to do what all these doctors thought was impossible. Wow, that's incredible. Sometimes something has to happen. And I have realized all the people who have that break up, breakthrough or wake up call, at some point of their journey, they face some kind of adversity or pain or some dark moments. And because they look for the answers and they don't give up, they come to such a powerful solution, not just for themselves, but for others as well. So now that you have managed to heal yourself, you have realized that you have power and you want to share this power with others. Tell us a little bit more. How does it work when it comes to the energy? We know everything is energy. And yeah. how this, does this energy and this frequency can impact our life? You always hear that everything is energy and change your frequency, change your life. We hear all these things. But how many people actually know what frequency it is? Like, how do you change your life? What frequency is for happiness? What frequency is for joy or for healing what frequency is for abundance or manifesting right so people they meditate and they get into those frequencies but how many people can put it into a number how many people can put it into a series of numbers that work consistently so people they go to solfeggio if you heard of though they go to 432 but those are very basic frequencies and they're only one frequency so what we've done with our scientific team is we actually develop something called quantum frequencies which has over 5,000 frequencies in the frequencies. Okay, so instead of one, we have 5,000 per frequency. So I'm gonna play it for you, this one called Remove Negative Energy. And it's pretty popular and you're gonna see why. So let me just play this for a few seconds and give you a sample how it sounds like. Ooh, wow, powerful. Okay, so how would you define the frequency? What is the frequency? These specifically are sound frequencies, but I, my specialty is developing sound frequencies that work together with coils. All right. So there's different ways of experience, the body experience frequencies. Like for example, with their sound, we can hear from zero to 20 to 20,000 Hertz when it comes to sound. There's light frequencies. We can see a certain spectrum of light. And then there's electromagnetic frequencies, which actually go from very low to millions of Hertz. What we found is that our body actually responds to electromagnetic frequencies. So if you know about the earth, it has a frequency too. It's called the Schumann resonance, 7.83 Hertz. And that's significant because there's a doctor called Robert, Dr. Schumann, who is a German physicist. And what he did was he put a bunch of people in an underground bunker. He shielded it from all kinds of EMF. But what it also shielded from was the Earth's EMF. And when they keep them down there, people eventually got very depressed and all these emotional issues. So what he did was he needed a way to create a magnetic field inside that bunker underground. So he used 7.83. He used the Earth's frequency and he played it through that bunker. And then guess what happened? The people got better. The people became happier. People slept better. The people were healthier. So he turned it off again. And then people got sick and people got depressed and all these mental issues. He turned it on and so on. 
So basically found out that this frequency was vital for our physical and mental health. It's Earth's frequency. Wow. Excellent. This is incredible because we recently, I see, especially women working with women entrepreneurs, we are open to things that probably before we were more skeptical, but now we are open to a holistic world, to so many opportunities that probably we're not able to see before. And it is incredible how much we can learn and how much we can tap into in order for us to maximize our life in this earth, in this planet earth, and to maximize also our talents and our gifts. Before we go, because I know you're going to go deeper into your presentation, I think we're very curious also to know a little bit about of your personal life. Who is David? And if I can just be very straightforward, how old are you? Because you look really young. <laughs> let's get a, like a... Yes, yeah? Let's get a guess. <laughs> okay, no, let's type in the old. chat. How old do you think David is? I would give 28. You, I would give you 25. <laughs> so I'm ranging from 35. As low as 25 to up to 45. But mostly 24. Okay. <laughs> mostly around 35, right? But you look like 20, I must say. Yeah. But, so is somebody maybe coming close? Are you yeah, going 42. To... So I'm actually 42. No, ladies, 42. Wow, incredible. Now, great. So tell us a little bit about your childhood and where do you live? Are you married? Do you have kids? So we want, as women, we're always curious to know a little bit of personal life as well before sure. we go to the content. So I'm, I was born in Hong Kong and I raised in Canada. I live in Vancouver, BC. I'm married, two dogs, and I studied engineering in school. I dropped out because I didn't want to be an engineer. I wanted to be a entrepreneur. I didn't know that, but I was an entrepreneur and I started in business quite at a young age. I did real estate when I was in my twenties and then I, and then I got into software development. And one major lesson I learned by, in my life was I lost like a quarter million dollars and I got scammed by this con artist who was supposed to be my mentor. Right. So I trusted it, this guy with everything and with all my money and all my hopes and dreams. And it turned out he just was a con artist. So that was very devastating. And I got really depressed and I lost a lot of confidence that I had. And that actually led to me getting sick and getting my disease. And we all know that emotional issues and stress, that's what really caused this disease. And I was, I was pretty healthy before that, but after that, I got really sick. But then, as you heard before, I, I didn't give up and I just kept searching for answers. And then I eventually healed myself. So now this company called Chi Life, I started because, because I knew people needed it. And because I, I know that I could reach a lot of people because of my engineering background, my software development, I used it to develop the, the software, which is 10,000 programs now. And, and design, I was good at that. So I created decent products and marketing. So I put all that together. Plus I do Qigong, right? Uh, it's like a moving meditation, people call it. And I can feel these energies since I was young because my family has a heritage with martial arts and Tai Chi and Qigong. So ever since I was young, I felt these energies. I did some many meditations. I feel the energy going through my body, my hands. I could project it. And I thought it was just a game. I didn't know it was real. I thought it was just my imagination. But later on, I found out that there's actually science behind all this stuff. And it is measurable. You can actually measure the results of Qi energy. So combining all my life experience and knowledge, that's why how I created the Qi coils, which you're going to learn about and how it combines the ancient wisdom from Taoism, from the, from Qi energy, from life force with the modern technology, such as Rife machines, which you probably have heard about PEMF therapy, pulse electromagnetic fields and, and the neuroscience that, that there's been a lot of study on and now <clears throat> i have this company for five years and we've reached thousands tens of thousands of people all around the world and our mission is to heal the world together because i think that this technology combined with everybody's resources we can actually heal the world together not just like something that we sing about or just hold hands and meditate about which is good too but we actually can scale this technology distribute it to everyone because it's affordable, it's contactless, it's infinite. You just plug it in and you can use it as much as you want. 
It's compact, portable, wireless, you don't have to touch it. So that's why we're using this in schools as well, because schools are have kids are having a hard time, teachers are having a hard time, they're all burned out. Kids are distracted, kids are depressed and anxious. And actually they just did a survey by the UN and they found that 54% of kids are failing in school. They're not meeting the requirements of math and like simple things like math or reading. They're not meeting anymore. So that means 35 million children in the United States. I don't know how many in the UK, but in the United States, 35 million children, half of the children have learning challenges. Yeah. So now we are implementing these in schools, which is making a huge impact. So we took these kids who are labeled with disabilities, learning disabilities, and after four months of using our frequencies and our technology, now they're doing better than the normal kids in school. They actually, some of them scoring in the top 1% in the state. Um, anyway, we can talk more about that, but more about myself. So my passion is, I just love to see and hear people transform themselves. If you see like on my wall, there's a Chinese thing there. Yeah. And that means to improve yourself every day. So that's my model. I want to help other people improve themselves every day. That's why our slogan for she calls is transform yourself 1% one, 1 a day, because this is it. I'd be looking for something that can help you without effort. That's the thing, right? Everybody wants to change themselves. They want to improve themselves, but everything out there, most of the stuff out there takes effort. This doesn't require effort because you just have to turn it on. But like I said, what frequencies are for manifesting? What frequencies for health? What frequencies are for energy? What frequencies are for abundance? We have them. You just have to turn it on. And you, once you just sit there, you put it in your house and you can put these large ones in your house, 3000 square foot, it covers. Then all the, all your children, all your pets, all your plants, your husband, whatever, your spouse, your partner, they all benefit from it. It lifts the energy and creates this healing environment throughout the whole home. So I have lots of stories. If you want go to my website, people who I go to meetings and they come to me and say, I'm so thankful, David, because you saved me because I was so sick and now I'm actually well. And I was so sick, I couldn't even make a phone call before. I couldn't even lift the phone. And now I, I drove all the way here by myself and I'm here to meet you because you're in town and I'm so thankful for you saving my life basically and healing me. So I get so much, so many of those stories and that, that's what really motivates me. And, wow. and even people with cancer, uh, we don't make any claims about cancer, but what we can say is we do have many testimonials, people who have cancer stage four. Okay. This is terminal cancer. And then after using our technology for about well, 30 to 60 days, they go back to the doctor and they can't find a tumor anymore they don't know where it went so, so David, you're saying that with the technology with the new modern world with awakening and breakthroughs that people are learning to experience because now we are open to so many opportunities there is no excuse anymore for people to get stuck and as you mentioned, you don't need to have a transformation overnight, but if you transform yourself 1% per day, or just tiny little bit of progress every single day and take yourself into that journey and put yourself into that belief and also keep, take yourself accountable because you are in charge for that transformation. You are in charge for that change in your life. And where do you find these resources? Go and search. So you're saying that now you are witnessing more and more people to want to change that, more and more people to access these facilities and resources that people like you are providing, because it's much more that we can do with life. How things are, how do you see things changing in the world, especially in this modern world now we are all the time with our devices and tell us. Your experience, is it hope that is it going to be better or what do we need to get it better? I think it's going to get better for people who are willing to wake up and willing to use different ideas and resources and willing to embrace technology that actually helps you where the generally things might get worse <laughs> for a lot of people because we just went through the pandemic. We can see what kind of things and craziness can happen and what kind of control that these people in control and, and what kind of things they try to 
due to the public and literally just killing a lot of people, right? But I think people who are willing to do something different than what they hear or what they see conventionally, which is a lot of people now, by the way, a lot of people are, are trying alternative things. And that's why a lot of people are transforming themselves and a lot of people are getting a lot healthier. But there's still a lot of doctors. And the average age now is expanded. And maybe you will put a little bit more attention to how we can stay younger and how we can take care of ourselves and how can what maybe you can share some secrets or any formula that you have yeah found or you can yeah be generous to give it to us as women we really want to maximize it thank you so much david